Yeah, thank you. I uh, appreciate everybody uh, being here. Um, you know, really, uh, you know, looking forward to this weekend, um, you know, coming off of a, a, a really uh, great win for our team uh, this past weekend, um, you know, saw a, a lot of things that we were hoping to see uh, from our team uh, this past weekend. And now it's about, you know, building on those things and, um, you know, getting closer, you know, to the type of team that I think we're capable of being. So uh, this weekend presents a great challenge, uh, presents a great opportunity. And uh, it's certainly going to take, you know, everything that we have, a great week of preparation and practice and, um, you know, really a, a dialed in effort, you know, from, from everybody um, to, you know, really focus in on, you know, what, uh, you know, what our responsibilities are, uh, go out there and execute, you know, at a high level, uh, play with great fundamentals and technique. And, um, you know, I think if we can do that, um, you know, we'll be, uh, we'll be in good position. Fire away, George. Hey, Tom, um, quick question, philosophy question. What is your, your philosophy on injured starters who miss time when they're healthy? Do they get their job back right away or no? Um, you know, I, I guess my philosophy would be we want to put the best 11 players on the field, um, you know, for our team uh, in every, you know, situation and every circumstance. So, um, you know, who, whoever, you know, we feel as a, as a program, uh, are the 11 guys that give us the best chance to, to, to be successful. Uh, those are the 11 that are going to be out there. Um, what are your thoughts? You know, your, your defense had a, 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 let's call it the second half. It looked like they were finally starting to gel against Bryant. Your, your thoughts on the OSU offense and the, the, the fact that I think they've averaged more than uh, 40 points a game in their first three. Yeah, um, you know, very, very explosive team. Um, and yes, uh, I was, uh, I was happy with, you know, how uh, we played at times uh, defensively. Obviously, we gave up a couple of drives uh, in that game uh, where Bryant, um, you know, really, you know, kind of ran the ball, converted some third downs, um, you know, and, and played really well, you know, against us. And obviously, you know, we don't want to give any drives up. But I think at the end of the day, I think we gave up about 150 yards. Uh, you know, of offense, you know, to our opponent. And I think, uh, I think we'll take that, <laughs> you know, I think we would be, uh, you know, we'd be pretty pleased, um, you know, to hold, uh, to hold our opponent to 150 and, and 14 points, um, you know, week in and week out. So, uh, you know, certainly have a great challenge uh, this week uh, defending um, Ohio State's offense. Um, they, uh, as I think, you know, many of us have seen uh, are very explosive and have the ability to score uh, very quickly uh, from anywhere on the field. And um, they have a lot of guys uh, who can make that happen. So it's not just, you know, worrying about stopping one guy or, you know, one wide receiver or one running back. I mean, they have a, you know, they got a, they got a group of, of really talented, um, you know, players who are coached well and, and play hard and, um, you know, are used to being successful. So uh, that will be a great challenge uh, for our team. But again, you know, in those challenges uh, are great opportunities. And, um, you know, for us, uh, that's how, you know, that's how we're approaching this. And, um, you know, really, you know, again, focusing on, you know, who we are and how we play, um, you know, and, 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 you know, forcing our opponent to uh, out execute us. And, um, you know, I think if we can do that and we can play with great fundamentals and technique, take care of the ball on offense and, you know, create some takeaways on defense, then, you know, that's the formula. That's the formula for success. Speaking of defense, are you listening to the, the noise that surrounds the OSU defense at this point where they're quote unquote struggling? <laughs> uh, n no, <laughs> no, not at all. Uh, all we got to do is turn on the tape and you know, see, uh, see all those guys, big guys running around, you know, striking blocks, uh, you know, making great plays. I mean, it's a great defense. I mean, let's just be real, um, you know, it, certainly, you know, for us and, you know, there's a lot of guys, you know, on that, on that defense that are, um, you know, going to be draft picks and, you know, future draft picks. And, um, you know, they're, they're, they're very talented. They're very physical. They're very fast. Um, they're very big and they're coached well. Um, and you know it's uh, it's going to be uh, it's going to take everything 
that we have, um, you know, from an effort standpoint, but, uh, you know, also uh, executional standpoint, you know, and again, where that comes in is just, uh, you know, our ability, you know, to, to, to be us and to eliminate self-inflicteds and, you know, focus on those things that are within our control and, uh, you know, start there. And again, if we can do that, um, I think that will lead to, uh, to more opportunities. You know, I heard the guys at practice today, and they seem up for this game. I mean, is that a correct observation? Yeah, you know, I mean, I, I, I think it's, you know, I, I don't know, um, you know, if it's this game in particular, but, you know, really, you know, the focus of Tuesday, um, you know, for us coming in, it's a, you know, it's toughness Tuesday and, you know, you know, especially, you know, defensive standpoint, um, you know, just really like talking to our defense about like playing physically, like striking blocks and, you know, tackling, you know, when we're tackling and, and really attacking the football. And, um, you know, I thought our defensive guys did a really great job of that. They brought great energy and it really, it wasn't just, you know, the ones and twos on defense, but it was also our practice squad defensive players. Um, you know, they're, uh, you know, they were getting, you know, they were getting the offense going a little bit. You know, there were a couple, a uh, couple near uh, scuffles, um, you know, in there. And it's because the, you know, the, the practice squad defense was going so hard and they were playing, uh, you know, with great physicality and, and great urgency in what they do. And, you know, that's going to be important for us. It is, you know, week in and week out, but we have to play, uh, you know, we got to play a physical brand of football and we got to be ready, um, you know, for a physical football team. Um, so I thought, uh, I thought our guys had great energy today. Um, thought, you know, practice was really, uh, was really crisp. Uh, considering you know it was it was raining and you know kind of nasty outside, um, but you know our team really embraced it. You know they kind of you know were joking with me a little bit during our walkthrough in the indoor uh, before we went out, um, but you know they know what it is and they know that it's important you know to to be able to practice well in those conditions uh, if you want to play well in those conditions and you know it was such a great day for it to be you know bad weather because. You know, what we're talking about, you know, eliminating self-inflicteds, um, playing with great fundamentals and technique, protecting the football, like those things become magnified in weather situations, whether it's cold, rain, snow, wind, whatever, like your ability to eliminate self-inflicted mistakes, your ability to protect the football, your ability to play with fundamentals and technique is critical. Uh, to success. So it was really magnified for us, um, you know, today with the conditions, and uh, I was really pleased about that. We talked, not after the Bryan game, but the week before, about how your team can learn how to finish completely, okay? Mm hmm. Did what happened under similar circumstances given the game where Bryant could have slipped away from you? How much of that doubt and has been erased from their minds, do you think, after that victory? You know, it was it was important and you know, as you said, it it it, it it did. It had a similar feel there, you know, kinda in the second quarter, end of the second quarter, early third quarter, um, you know, to how it felt at Temple and um you know, I think that, you know, while we don't want to be in those circumstances, I think it's it's what our team needed just like two weeks ago. Um, you know, we haven't we haven't had the opportunity to play with the lead very often. Um, and, you know, certainly to come out and to be as in control, um, you know, as we were, you know, in these past two games, you know, early on. Um, so to, you know, once again, find ourselves like dealing with uh, some adversity and, uh, you know, giving up plays, you know, making mistakes, turning the ball over, um, you know, to, to be able to, to ride that wave and, you know, not become overly emotional um, in, in either end with the highs or with the lows. Uh, I thought was it was it was growth. Um, you know, I certainly felt it, too, and I tried to do a better job. Uh, you know, of that. I, I was certainly uh, two weeks ago against Temple. I was very, you know, emotional and really just, you know, in, in a sense of, in a spirit of really trying to fire our team up as we had the lead and, you know, was really like trying to like, just like leave everything I had out there. But at the same time too, like, you know, looking back at it and, you know, I made an adjustment this week, you know, as we kind of got an early lead, like I stayed, you know, I stayed really steady, you know, and really, uh, you know, consistent. Um, for our team, and I felt that our team, 
uh, matched that. And when things didn't go as well, uh, we were the same. Uh, we were the same group. And we rode, you know, that wave. And uh, when, we, when the opportunity presented itself, we capitalized. And uh, that was really positive uh, for us. And, you know, I challenged our guys, uh, you know, after the game, you know, and, and, and this morning again was, you know, was that because, um, you know, did we not lose belief? Did we not lose confidence because we felt that we were the better team? Or did we not lose belief? Did we not lose confidence because we trust ourselves? And we trust our technique, we trust our training, we trust our ability to go out there and make plays when our team's counting on us to do that. And I think there's a difference. Um, I think there's a difference, um, you know, in, in that. And, um, you know, I think that resonated with our team. And, um, you know, again, you know, hopefully it continues to challenge us, you know, in that area and, and being just like, you know, really like mentally strong, you know, and mentally tough and, you know, ability to like just withstand like repeated blows. Like, I love that. And like, that's like who we have to be. And that has to be, you know, what defines us. And um, because it's a long, tough year and it's a tough schedule. And we, you know, we got a great opponent that we're going to play this weekend and like they're going to they're going to deliver some blows. And are we going to be able to like stand in there and take the punches and like come back swinging? And, um, you know, I, I can't wait, you know, for those moments. And, um, you know, I think our team, you know, will embrace that as well. Uh, last question for me. Can you qualify what DJ Iron's ceiling is? You know, I think it's too early, uh, you know, really to say, um, you know, he's played, uh, you know, played in, you know, a few games and um, has certainly had uh, – some really bright moments, uh, you know, some moments where he's really flashed. And I think you see what his level of ability is and what he can mean, um, you know, to our football program. Um, but, you know, DJ's a young player. You know, he's got, uh, you know, he's got a, a few games under his belt and, you know, and, and really, you know, three years to play. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a great responsibility that I have to continue to uh, coach him and to help him develop and, um, you know, truly become the complete player that, I think we all uh, believe he's capable of being. Um, but again, I've been uh, really proud of him, and he's worked really hard. Uh, you know, since the moment he's gotten here, uh, whether it's in the weight room or you know in the meeting rooms, out at practice. Um, you know, I can tell you, you know, in spring, um, you know, his first spring here. I mean, there wasn't a day that went by that practice didn't end, and everybody else was you know back in the locker room, and DJ's out there going through his. Uh, script uh, on air, you know, mentally, like going through all the calls and, you know, his footwork and his reads and all those things. And, um, you know, that's the type of stuff that it shows up and it makes a difference. So, uh, you know, when you have somebody that has, uh, you know, the, the level of athleticism and, and talent that DJ has, and you combine that with someone who has great work ethic and, uh, you know, competitive spirit and, and leadership traits, um, you know, as a coach, you just uh, you want to you want to continue to invest and you want to continue to, you know, pour into him and, and to help him like be the best that he can be and, and refine all of those skills. And, um, you know, and, and, and we're excited about, you know, the opportunity uh, to do that with DJ.